What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're going to be doing a little guide for Trundle Jungle and a rune page that is doing much better than I think a lot of people understand right now and, and just a strategy that you can hopefully use to win a ton more games. Because I think Trundle is very, very good in low elo, but honestly right now he's overperforming in all elos. He has the second highest win rate of any jungler in the game right now, only behind Fiddlestick. So I think by playing him, you can really, really start winning a lot more games. Uh, before we get into this one real quick, I just want to mention if you guys are interested in investing or the stock market or setting yourself up for a brighter future, anything like that, I have a link in in the description below it's gonna be the first link in the description for Robinhood it is a stock trading app uh, where if you sign up you don't even have to put any money on just for signing up you receive a free stock and if you do that I receive a free one as well it's one of the best ways to support my channel if you enjoy my content but again if you're interested in that check out that first link in the description here we go getting right into this which is a trundle jungle guide in this video we're actually gonna be talking about phase rush trundle jungle I'm gonna throw the rune page up on the screen real quick so I think the rune page is actually really really important here this is phase rush with nimbus cloak solarity water walking triumph and legend tenacity I think you can take Legend Alacrity too if you're not worried about CC or anything like that on the enemy team. But this page is going to be so good for Trundle. And one reason I want to make this video is that uh, Press the Attack and Conquer actually have a higher play rate than uh, Phase Rush right now. But Phase Rush actually has the higher win rate worldwide in Plat Plus. They're all very similar. Um, but I think people should be taking a look at Phase Rush in more instances and in more situations. Right now, a lot of people are taking Press the Attack the most conquer in a lot of situations but phase rush is so so good it allows trundle to be so sticky he's so good in the 1v1 fights and in the little skirmishes and stuff and this allows him to just stick to people and be so annoying he can get so much damage off they can't run away from him with uh phase rush nimbus cloak blue smite and his w he's just all over people you're able to dish out so much damage and if you get tanky you can win these insane insane extended trades obviously conquer is very good in extended trades as well but phase rush is just another option that you guys need to consider and it's win rate is so so good this rune page that we actually throw up on the screen has something like a 52 almost a 53 percent win rate in plat plus solo queue worldwide and i think it is just really really good a lot of the things i like about trundle especially for lower elos is that he's so easy to play there's nothing insane there's nothing you're going to really mess up about trundle he does have a skill uh he does have some you know skill expression and stuff with his e you can begin to make some insane plays with his e it can help you like cancel certain abilities uh set up some plays block certain dashes stuff like that um but just trundle's w q alt his alt target selection can be a little bit you can mess that up too but for the most part it's q w r just going to be very straightforward you're going to be getting the most out of trundle in most of your games you're going to be very consistent and honestly consistency is something we should value very very highly in uh, solo queue you can consistently perform at a very high level like trundle can he, his, his win rates are insane right now he's performing very very highly and you can get consistent great trundle games off you're never going to be probably a 1v9 like team fighting monster on trundle anything like that uh, if you get fed you do have some options of ways to carry games a little bit harder but for the most part you're just going to be very solid you have decent early game ganking with your pillar with red buff you can get onto people with your w you can be pretty annoying nothing crazy there uh you have insane absolutely elite objective control he's so good at dragon so good at heralds uh taking that stuff down solo just if he's if you're tracking the enemy jungler if you know they're on another half of the map you can always take stuff um, with his E, you can actually use his E to knock up the Scuttle Crab and reduce its resistances and stuff. I know some junglers actually have a lot of problems doing Scuttle Crab when they don't have CC. Um, but Trundle, you can actually use the Pillar to uh, make the Scuttle Crabs a little bit easier. His clear speed, really, really good. Uh, it's really easy. It's not a clear where you have to be mechanically intensive, anything like that. You can be watching your lanes and still getting a very, very fast clear off on Trundle. Uh, and again, with this Rune Page, Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, uh, Legend Tenacity, Water Walking Slayer, you're just going to have so much movement speed. You're going to be flying all around the map. That's going to help you clear camps faster. It's going to help you clear objectives faster. It's going to help you get, you know, get to your lanes, get to your ganks and stuff. And also, it's going to help you a ton in those skirmishes. Trundle is not very good in team fights, especially later on in the game. He's not going to be great there, um, but he is going to be pretty good in most other situations. Playing around with your mid laner 2v2s, 3v3s, uh, going bot lane, that stuff. Trundle will usually be a solid pick. Uh, as far as the build uh, that we are talking about when we are uh, looking uh, at Trundle, uh, one second, is actually going to be blue smite into cinder hulk uh that's gonna be really really good you're always gonna go that on trundle some people do go red smite uh when you're going this phase rush build you're actually gonna go red smite probably more often honestly than you're gonna go blue smite because you're already getting so much movement speed and stuff that you do want some dueling potential with the red smite so i'd probably recommend red smite cinder hulk uh and then people are usually going spirit visage into grabbing a merc treads whenever you can spirit visage dead man's plate just straight tank items some people go knight's vow even frozen hearts an item i've seen but if you do get ahead in the early game you pick up a couple kills um 
obviously you're looking to get assists, you're looking to get your lanes ahead because you are pretty much just a tank as Trundle. You're trying to be annoying, uh, just be really tanky, get these long extended trades where you're doing damage over time. But if you happen to pick up a couple kills, because Trundle does have uh, some matchups where he's able to bully the other person out, pick up kills in the early game, you can't even go Blade of the Ruin King into full tank. And that's just going to, again, the Blade of the Ruin King active is going to make you even stickier. You're going to be doing percent health damage. You're going to be even... You're going to be... I can't talk. You're going to be even stronger that way. Sorry about that. And that's going to be so, so good. And that's going to be really good for you. And you're just going to be able to win a ton of games. Trundle is so good because he has so many rune page options, so many build options. He's very easy to pull off. He's good in all elos. Because he's so easy, that's always going to make him really, really good in low elo. But again, he has like a 53% win rate plat plus right now. He has a good win rate in diamond. He's getting played in challenger. Professionals in North America playing him this week have a 53% win rate on him. So he's really excelling at all elo brackets. And I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of gets a, a little bit of nerfs here soon. I don't think he's overpowered by any means. But I just think he's always so good that you can almost never go wrong uh, in a game, in a team composition, in anything with Trundle. There'll be a rune page, a build, a something to make him work and make him very, very effective in that game. Um, but yeah, that's definitely why I recommend you guys trying them out. And I just wanted to let you guys know about this phase rush rune page that is having a ton of success in all elos right now. Pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about phase rush trundle? If you try it out, let me know how that goes. Subscribe to have all my latest content. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.